Hello and welcome, I'm your host, Liza Bar, and I want to show you, like, this entire book, and I can't. Because that would be a copyright strike, for sure. And then I wouldn't be able to sit here and talk about comic books on YouTube to you, lovely people. So let's start with the cover. The cover promises us some stuff. The cover promises us a glowing man fighting what looks like a death robot. You know what I'm saying here? You know exactly what I'm saying here. Glowing man, death robot. It's got to happen. Now, if we flip open here to, like, page three. Uh, man, there's so much I want to show you in this book, and I'm, I'm trying to be really sparing with it. But we flip open to page three, and you've got the king. You got the map to Norad, and you have this greasy, grody, icky, radiation, burn, smile thing it's a sickening kind of smile looking at this i wonder how he's still got all of his teeth but then i realize he's probably got like the best uh dental care right so he can probably like afford prosthetics to make all that look good even if you know his actual teeth were rotted out or destroyed by uh, what our glowing man did to him but yeah He's uh, got ego. Worse, he's got like a complex where he's got to live up to his father and surpass him. So he's got some daddy issues compounding everything else that homeboy has going on. All right, let me flip over to just the top of this, kind of like highlight what's going on here. So here's the little boy that's got leukemia. What's his name? Henry, I think. And, you know... Uh, he's got leukemia, which means they don't want him to live in their city, uh, their NORAD, underground, all that kind of stuff. Because you have to be healthy to live there, so they're going to... And this trigger warning, like, this is the kind of topic that can trigger people because there is real psychological pressure about these sorts of things, but they're planning to euthanize him. But at least they're giving him, like, some ice cream, like, you know... If you're going to do that to somebody, you should at least uh, make it happy. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're at least treating him with gentleness and kindness, even though they're going to have to do something to him. But don't worry. He gets sprung from jail. Let me jump forward a little bit here. There's some really, like, good, like, emotionally stuff scattered all through this issue about our main character and the way he's interacting with those kids. And it's all fabulous. I'm not going to show you any of it. Not a single bit of it. Because I want to show you Glowing Man vs. Robot. Alright? Now the first we see of the robot in this issue is when the robot, like, socks Tariq and knocks him, like, senseless. And then, and that's off panel. He just comes flying back into the panel so that we can see, boom, the robot right here. So it's apparently Junkyard Joe, which is apparently like a comic book character in their universe, but they made a real robot based on that. And homeboy here, you know, Tariq, is going to fight this son of a gun. And it's pretty satisfying stuff, man. He goes, like, I got my super strength, let me go thwack. One of his rods gets broken. Like, this is some serious combat. This is the first time we've actually seen someone do damage to him. You know? I mean, he got, like, tranked and stuff in the previous issue. But this is the first time we've seen this. This is, like... Uh, if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons or something, this is like losing hit points. You know? Hit points aren't like, oh, I'm bleeding my guts out all over the ground. Hit points are you're being worn down and ground down. Your luck is going away. Your tools, your skills are slowly grinding down. Uh, if you want to see like an example of that in cinema, uh, is it? I think it's the Hector vs. Achilles fight in um, whichever movie that was. Was that Troy? I didn't like that movie. But it had some good bits. The bit at the very beginning where uh, the kid's like, the Thessalonian is the biggest man I've ever seen. I wouldn't want to fight him. And Achilles is like, and that's why no one will remember your name. Like, It had some good moments like that, but the movie wasn't very good. Anyway, so we got like some crazy combat there. We got some crazy combat over here. He's like straight up just, I'm going to melt your head, bro. But it doesn't work. And the combat from here spirals out of control you get like explosions people being punched through walls all kinds of cool stuff then after we deal with that 
Uh, so we escape. He's got to help the kids. He's got to wrap up his plot with the king. Uh, it's all handled satisfactorily. Then there's like the setup for the next story arc. And I think the only critique I have of the book is the ending with uh, the end of the king story plotline stuff. Because, how do I put it? It was too abrupt. I wanted something more Mad Max. And that wasn't what I got at all. That's kind of cryptic, but I hope that makes sense. When you read it, you'll know exactly what I mean. All in all, the first six issues of Geiger here, and I can't believe there's going to be more. Like, this seems like a, actually a really good ending place for the story. But, uh, hey, I'm not the one writing it. It's a very satisfying run. It didn't go exactly where I thought it was going to go, but it went somewhere nearby. So at the end of the story, I'm, like, satisfied. I feel good about things, and I had a good time reading it. And, uh... If you've been following along with Geiger, I think you're going to kind of have that same feeling. And if you haven't been following along with it, uh, they're bound to put this out in a trade paperback, some kind of collected edition or whatever. That's probably a good way to get in on this. I don't know what these books cost secondhand, like on eBay or whatever. But, uh, you know, the trade's going to end up being like 15 bucks or something, which is a little bit cheaper than buying all six issues for like 4 bucks a pop. Comic books are an expensive hobby, yo. Way, way too expensive. You all take care of yourselves. You have a great day. Take it easy. Hope to see you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.